Hi guys, this is Phantom Vacuum Fan with another new vacuum. I decided to return the Wind Tunnel Air Cordless since I wasn't happy with its performance. So I went out and picked up the Hoover Wind Tunnel Air Steerable. And this is it. Uh, I've already played with it a bit. It's actually very good. I'm very happy with it. Um, as you can see, there's a little dirt at the top of the bin and a little at the bottom that I'll have to dump out uh, before I run it. But, um, let me let me just do a quick overview as I always do and then I'll show it in action. So again, I have my original wind tunnel air there. I don't need it for this demonstration really because uh, the wind tunnel air steerable isn't that different to where I need to do like a side-by-side -side comparison, but I will show you what's different. Obviously, the original wind tunnel air did not have the steer feature. I'll show that in a bit, but the mechanism is right down here, so you've got the swivel steering. It makes it very easy to turn. Um, the original wind tunnel air, I believe, had a two-year warranty. The steerable has a five-year limited warranty. The original had a HEPA media filter. The steerable has a HEPA media filter. And so basically, it has all the features of the original air, but then, you know, it has the swivel, and the hose is set up is slightly different. Actually, it's pretty different. I like this one a lot. The only thing I don't like about the air steerable, and it's not a big deal, the original wind tunnel air was 12.4 pounds. The, the wind tunnel air steerable is 14 pounds. But it's still, it's by no means is that heavy or anything, you know. It's still manageable. So... On the original wind tunnel air, I'm not going to go get, but you had to disconnect that. You had to press that green button on the hose and then connect it to either the wand at the top or the extension hose and then the wand or whatever, you know, attach your attachments right to what, you know, the hose or whatever you wanted to do. With the wind tunnel air steerable, let me get up off the floor. And while I'm down here, I'll show you something real quickly. They moved the cord hooks to the side, which I like. Um, but anyway, with the wind tunnel air steerable, the hose setup is slightly different. To use it, rather than having to disconnect stuff and so on, you just pull this out of its little holster. You pop this down. And I know you can't see it, but I'll show you in a second there. You pop this little door down, and the hose slides in and clicks into place. And now you've got your suction hose. So then you can undo that and undo that. And now you've got a nice stretch hose. And just like the original Wind Tunnel Air, it has this wand, although on the original one it was telescopic, but with the, ex with the added reach of that hose, you don't need it to be telescopic. But... So you can put your attachments right on the end there, or there's another nice feature. On the original wind tunnel air, I actually will grab this real quick and just show you something. Um, you could put your attachments on the end of the cuff if you wanted to. Uh, with the new wind tunnel air steerable, you can't do that quite, but you can do something even better. If you don't need or want that telescopic handle and there's or wand and there's times where it really isn't necessary, you have this little green button here. You press it and you have like a little pistol grip almost. So if you're doing like your furniture and I don't have my turbo tool nearby, but if I'm doing like a chair and I've got the turbo tool on there, I can really grip it easily and you know I have easy uh, control over wherever I'm, wherever I'm vacuuming. So that is something I absolutely love. I think it was a great change that Hoover made. Let me pop this back into place. Uh, I always forget to do that there. So those are the real changes to the steerable over the original wind tunnel air. Both are really great machines. I still love my wind tunnel air original. 
although I'm probably going to sell it to help cover the cost of the um, air steerable, which oddly enough, I paid just a little bit more for the steerable than I did for the air originally. Um, but anyway, oh, and then the tool, the onboard tools are basically the same as what they were on the original wind tunnel air. Uh, it's the two-in-one tool. So. Uh, it just stores right on board right there. Uh, the only downside, really, to the steerable, other than the weight difference, is that, and it's only because of the package I bought with the original wind tunnel air. I purchased one through, a uh, package through HSN that came with an additional extension hose. And... Uh, it came with uh, a pet hair turbo brush, an uh, extra long crevice tool, and an extension rod. So it gave you a lot of reach. Well, I just bought a typical package through Target, so it was just the vacuum and the two-in-one tool. But I can use the turbo brush, I know, because I already tried it. I'm assuming the extension rod and so on should fit from the original wind tunnel air since the turbo tool fits but um it does kind of stink that it only came with the two-in-one tool but again i've got the attachment so it doesn't matter anyway uh let me fire up the wind tunnel air steerable and take it for a spin just give me one second Yeah. Hang on one second. <sighs> That's the one thing I missed about the cordless was of course somebody had to step on the cord and knock over the vacuum and then had to go into the room that I had the cord plugged in so I had to move it. But anyway, okay, so here's the steerable in action. It sounds a little different from the wind tunnel air original, but here goes. There was that little clump of stuff in there. I forgot to empty it, but oh well. And this one still has the uh, brush roll on off setting, so that's very nice. You can turn it off for bare floors, turn it on for carpets. I don't know if you can see it too well there, I'll demonstrate it in a minute, but the swivel steering is very, very nice. It just makes the vacuuming uh, process a lot smoother and easier. Also, let me tell you one other thing that I really like about the, uh, the redesign that I just thought of. is, And here's the look at the swivel steering again. I'll show you in just a second. So I'm over here. And I just want to go around that bookcase. So I twist. And I get it. Rather than having to readjust my angle. But, uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying is I like where they put the uh, attachment as well on the side by the cord hooks because on the original wind tunnel air, sometimes it would just get knocked off in the process of vacuuming and I haven't had that happen so far. Plus, they put it on a little bit more securely than the original wind tunnel air. They, uh, on the original one, they just had like these two prongs that held in place. And the new wind tunnel air steerable, there's actually a, uh, a peg that it sits on. So it snaps on a lot more securely and it's out of the way. So that's very nice. Now again, I don't expect to pick up too much, just like I said in my wind tunnel air cordless video, because I uh, you know, just had the carping professionally cleaned. 
plus I've done a lot of vacuuming lately uh, playing with the cordless model but although I am surprised it does look like I've picked up a fair amount I guess I shouldn't be surprised considering I wasn't happy with the performance of the cordless but uh, you know I'll, I'll open it up and show you what I pick up in a second admittedly there was that teeny little fuzz ball in there but that's almost nothing so get down and open it up and see what we picked up. So. There's some dog hair, cat hair, a little bit of carpet fuzz, but not much. And then dust and sand and crumbs so and the carpet looked really good before I vacuumed it so that's all deep down stuff really that's not like surface dirt either so uh, yeah I'm very very happy with the wind tunnel air steerable oh let me show you one other difference between the original it's very minor but on the original wind tunnel air there was this little button here that you would press to pop off the HEPA media filter cover on this one, you just give it a twist, and your filter is right there. So, just a very minor change, but, uh, but anyway. So anyway, like I was saying, I'm very happy with the steerable. I love it. I think it's, um, I think it works as well as the original Wind Tunnel Air. Um, just slightly heavier and it has be a better design overall so I'm very happy with it and uh, I just realized I never took the little plastic off of the Hoover logo so now it looks even nicer um, but so yeah so this has been Phantom Vacuum Fan actually you know what I think it has let me check I think my original wind tunnel air has it on there as well now that I look at it let's see Sure enough, I didn't realize they put plastic on it because they had the whole thing wrapped in plastic. But anyway, so this has been Phantom Vacuum Fan signing off. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. And I'm going to go vacuum that up with the wind tunnel air steerable and then do the rest of the house. Thanks for watching. Bye.